Tim. Crack one open, Tim. <laughs> and um, it's the 10th of July. Yep. I thought it was the 8th, but it's really good. No. It's not. I had to delete my story because I put the wrong. I put the date on wrong because I couldn't see what it said on the poster, and then um, I was like, "Well, I'll check li after I do this. I'll just check and see the date was late." Of course, I didn't check. So anyway, so tonight we're gonna do the still life of the nice white jug and the uh, lemon and the strawberries. And um, I did change the color of the background a little bit, and I'll explain to you why I did that. But you can definitely go with the picture if you like that better. All right, we ready to do it? Do it? Let's do it. Okay. Doing it, doing it. Um, it's a little bit about proportions, but in, in all you really have to think about is that, you know, put your, your fruit in the lower pot, you know, the lower third maybe of your picture, okay? Um, and then you'll have plenty of room for the base, okay? Because we want to fill the top with the base, okay? If you think you're a lot smaller drawer, then put your lemon a little higher. Let's do it. Lemon time. I'm going to start with the yellow, okay? Tracy, Tracy, who would have thought of that? All right. Um, it's a little, because it rests, it's a little flat on the top and the bottom and then on the side. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a little line right here. I'm going to put a little line right here. I'm going to round this down a little bit. Round this down a little bit. Because it usually has that little nub on either end. Right? What do you call it? Yeah. Nub? Um... Well, it's one's hooked to the tree and one's where the blossom is going. The nub? What did you say the one's for the what? Hooked to the tree, it has a stem. The other side. What the blossom. Oh, the blossom. I thought you said the balsam, and I was like, is that a fancy fruit grower term? Okay, so if you want, we're going to put some shading on here. If you want, you can just put a little yellow on there just to get started, because, you know, let's do it. I'm going to do my, oh, this is broken. There you go, we're on consumers. Okay, I'm going to do yeah. one in uh, charcoal down here. I'm going to start about here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to round down about halfway. Whoops, that doesn't seem good. That's okay. Like a here and here. Okay? If you're lucky and you stay watching, we're going to show you something super cute a little later on. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> Well, and something else cute. <laughs> something not even cuter than you. Okay, we're going to put the strawberries in. Why is it that we have to do the strawberries and the lemon and the BPNA part? Because... Just to make them in front of the vase. Yeah, yeah. If we do the vase first, then you're going to have a line that runs through your yellow lemon because it's going to show. You're going to have a line through here. Or you're going to have to not overlap, and overlapping is great. So let's do it. Okay. The thing about the strawberry is right is that it's a little bit triangular and, the, and it's going to lay on the table on a flat side, okay? It doesn't just, you can't just stand it up there, right? It has to be lying down. There's a little distance between there. We want to have the shadow, so move it over here a little bit, okay? You can put a little line like this. This, this strawberry is probably going to be smaller than your lemon, all right? I'll do a line like this. Then I'm going to round the end of it a little bit and bring it up kind of like a triangle. Like this. Red or pink or whatever. Okay? And then, you know, they do have a little, you know, there might be a little bit of a indent on the side or whatever. You can just work on that, but... Okay? And the other one is sort of going in the other direction. There's a little space between where there's the um, stem stuff, right? We'll go in this direction. I'm not out of room. Okay, but we we want when you do that curve, I want you to think about it being that if you connect from here to here, it's going to make an e equilateral triangle. Very good. <laughs> okay. Is it the last time I said equilateral and you were like, oh my gosh, you're so fancy? Yeah, because I was again thinking, hmm, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, again, I'm going to do a little shading, but I'm going to put a little bit of red on it. Okay? So far, so good. Let's do another one down here. So, I'm starting with... I'll have to go a little smaller on this because my lemon is smaller. And I round the end and bring it up. So it looks like a V. Okay? You think about the basic shape, and then you can adjust it a little bit. 
all you're doing is thinking about the outside curves and all that. It's called contour drawing, which is important, but Oops, that's a pretty, those are some pretty big strawberries. Those are the kind of strawberries that are not negative. No. Those are the ones that but are those Jedi are the kind you dip in thing. chocolate at the weddings. Right? Sure. Okay. You might want to put a little, I'm using this sap green, olive green. You might want to put a little bit of the, what are we calling this? Is this stem or they call it something else? the shrubbery. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens, you know how it's kind of a flat thing on the top. So if you bring it a little bit this way and a little bit this way, right, then you can kind of in and out a little bit like that. Or you can just kind of, this, this shrubbery, as Veronica the shrubbery. Put it, is um, not important. It's just, it's a, it's a supporting role. So a little green up there, okay? I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> no. Okay. Oops. It's Friday night. Oh, that's some sour stuff. Okay. Sour. You guys ready? Like. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the picture. The vase. The vase. Picture. The vase. It'd be a vase if you put something in it, but it doesn't have anything in it. it All right, I'm going to use a gray. Bad. Okay, if you don't have gray, um, light blue would work well. A lavender would work well. Do you know what I mean? Lavender is lavender is light purple. Um, if you don't have those, uh, you could use a brown. Well, you can use whatever color you want. You can make it not even a white base. You can make it whatever you want it to do, okay? The thing you have to remember is that this line right here can't be below where your fruit is. It has to be up in here. So keep that in mind. This is where we're going to start, all right? Don't, don't think about any of this stuff that goes on at the top, okay? <coughs> where we're going to start is we're going to have a little line that's right here and a little line right here for the narrower part of the, of the vase. Okay? Um, what I want you to sort of think about is that if I drew a line from this, imagine that you're kind of, if, I mean, if your lemon and your strawberries are about the same place and there's a little space in between, then you can go with this idea. This part right here, if I drew a line straight down, is just about where the back end of my lemon is. So if I go from here and I go up, you know, and this, there's stuff at the top, so you don't want to go too high, but you want to go in the upper quarter. I'll put a line right about here, and then the width of this, you know, is about equal to the size of my lemon. So if I like the size of the lemon, if I'm comfortable with that, then I measure that, measure that, that's about where that side's going to be, okay? Can you see these lines on that thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay? So you stretch that down a little bit. Then I want you to... To not think about that, and we're thinking about the big fat part of the picture. Vase. Okay? This spot right here lines up about the middle of my lemon here. And okay? So I go to the middle of the lemon, I go up a little bit, and there's that spot. Okay? And then the, the thing is, is that I want to be. So it's not rolling over, I want to be the same distance over here. So in this case, it's on, you know, if, if I'm kind of on, well, I don't know if I want to go on that, but. All right, so I want to imagine that if I drew a line down the middle, that the distance from here to here to here and here to here are going to be the same. So you might have to hold your, um, you know, hold your picture up in front of you. Before you draw the whole thing in there, draw, hold it up and just take a look at those lines, and you should be able to see if they're, um, you know, if they're look like they're symmetrical. Okay? It's a little harder if it's white. If you totally flub it up and you have to change the shape, 
just change the color and like make it into a darker color and then you no one will ever know that you had to correct anything, okay? So I'm gonna veer out like this, I'm gonna veer out like this, and I have to remember that I can only go about right here, okay? Maybe I wanna come in after I went out. Go out, and then I'm gonna go in a little bit, okay? It's like the I dream of genie. Okay, so I found the back end of this, that's where I'm going to put the back end of my lemon, that's about where I'm going to put the neck of the, the base, um, and then I made it about the size of the lemon, a little narrower on this one, huh? like that, and to the middle of my lemon, and I have a spot here, and a spot about here, I'll check those out. And then I want to curve out to the dot. And then I want to put it in a little bit. Okay, and if you do it lightly, then you can kind of correct it already. And then I want a little line like right in there. How's that? Is that look okay? Mm hmm Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Good? Am I going too fast? Good enough. No? Okay. All right. Some more. Uh, ignoring things, okay? Now we're ignoring this, we're ignoring this, we're ignoring this, okay? All we're going to look at is this line that's right here, okay? So what happens is, on this side, okay, it goes up, oh, let's say, you know, it, you have to sort of decide where you but it goes up just a little bit like this, okay? On the other side, the front of the base lines up, let's say if I draw the line right straight down, is that straight? Does it look like it hits the front? Yeah. Pretty close. So, this point is lower than this point, okay? See it? Right? Mm -hmm. And then this one goes out about as far as the front of this. So what I'll do is I'll find the front of the fat part of the base. I'll go up and I'll make a spot. And this spot here needs to be higher than that spot. Okay? Okay? Okay. All right. And then what I'll do, this has a little, little gentle curve that goes from here. So I'll just connect. Okay? So right now, what we want is this to be a little bit higher than this. Um, you know, you sort of have to eye it up. And again, it doesn't, it won't matter a lot, but do make it um, taller because that's how we'll get the other stuff to fit in there. Okay? And this one I'll do right about here. Okay? All right. So then what happens is on this side, it just drops down a little bit and then it goes up about as high as it is here, maybe even a little higher. So we drop down a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna find a spot, like right, say right in the middle of that base is maybe the highest spot. So if I find the middle of the, the fat part here and I go up and I say, okay, I'm gonna bring that up to about, actually it's a little bit higher, isn't it? Yeah, I'll bring this up and then I'll bring it down. Here, what I did is I found the middle, I brought a dot that's up about here, I went down a little bit, and then I went up, and then I went down a little bit, and I meet up there. Right? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have Veronica, my daughter Veronica here, and I have my husband Tim, Friday night, so we're doing a little bit of drawing before we watch Netflix. It depends, though. It looks like it's gonna. It's you know, so beautiful and sunny, but it looks like it's. Gonna, I thought it was gonna rain, but it actually isn't supposed to rain until 4 a.m. Oh, really? Okay. Supposedly. All right. Now we're gonna look at the handle. Let's actually this we can do we can do this part first. So it goes up a little bit, and then it goes down. Okay. And this that's kind of high, but um, it doesn't go any further than this height than this peak here. So you go up a little bit, and then you go down. 
Okay? It looks like an eye. Okay? And, all right, so don't look at this part. Don't look at this. What you're going to do, this is going to go pretty much straight up. And this one has just a little hook there, and then it goes up like a J. So we can do that. We'll start here, and then we'll go up. And the top of this handle is about equal to this spot right here. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up. And then I'm going to bring this up. All right. And then I'm going to look at where they're going to. And this is the space right here. This light blue space is called negative. the negative space. So be thinking about that. Because if you have one that's way out here, then it's going to be like, well, that's something that doesn't look right, okay? Because it's really pretty tall and narrow. So be thinking about that shape. So it hits right down here, about here. So what I'll do is I'll go up, and then I'll just come down and hit that spot. Okay, and then the you know the easy part is just making this about the same width, right? And then connecting it. Okay, there it is. Well, there. Hmm. Okay, so I went, I made a little J, and I brought that up, and then I went up here. One of the things, like I always talk about, is um, one of the many things I always talk about is not making a handle too skinny so that it looks like if you picked up a jug full of milk with a super skinny handle, it would snap right off. That's not good. That makes a mess. So, um, you know, and we're going to color it kind of shadowy, so if you need to make it a little thicker, I'd be afraid to. Okay? All right. Let's do a little bit of the shading on the, on the special places that are shading. Um, let's also do this table bit before I forget. So just by making, instead of making a horizontal line, like one that goes like this, this one has a little bit of slope to it. And it can, just, in just a simple way, make the picture a little bit more interesting, okay? Um, I want to have a nice dark, well, no, I think I'm going to have the blue. So I'm actually going to do it a little bit lower on my lemon, like this, and then I'll come out on the other side and get right here. I don't need a lot of brown tape. I like them better than brown. So I'm going to do it that way. Um, maybe this way I'll do it the other way. So okay. Let's put a little shading on the, on the um, base. So this will be the part that if you have a gray, use that. If you have a light blue, if you have, um, you know, if you're going to make a green base, make it green, make it brown. But something on the lighter side. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. If you squint your eyes at your picture, you'll see, or this picture, you'll see it's very, very dark right over here, okay? We're going to start with that. Um, it's going to come right down the side of your base and kind of over here. Maybe it's a little skinnier on that side. And you're just going to color that in. You know, um, just like that. Nice. The, I'm going to do these two for now pretty much the same. So here, you know, it's like right about here. Go down. Because one of the things that's happening is the upper part, the neck of the base, is kind of a cylinder, right? Do you know what a cylinder is, Veronica? Yes, <laughs> I do. Can you describe it? It's um, like a if you made a circle, took a circle and you pulled it up and it's like stretched a tube. it out. <laughs> yeah, like, like a circle, like a slinky. Out. It's round, three-dimensional slinky. Yeah. So here, when you do the shading, it's going to be kind of an even line from top to bottom. It'd be like if you had a coffee cup, you'd have that shadow would just run straight. Here, what's happening is that it's rounded. And that's when you start to get a shadow that's a little bit more like um, like a crescent moon. Because, because you get, that's what makes the different phases of the moon is having a shadow on there. Okay? Obviously, the light, the, the light part of the moon is not the shadow part. But, okay? So that's why what here you're thinking a little bit more of a curve to it, but here you're thinking more straight up and down. All right? Okay. Um... The other thing that's happening is 
is to make it feel like the, the um, what do you call that? Lip? Spout? Spout. Spout. That's a kind of good word. Um, to make it feel like the spout is kind of flaring out, it's going to have a little, I put a little bit more under here than maybe would be, but it's going to have a little bit of shadow right underneath that. And then this is a little bit, so that's what's causing that shadow there. So, okay, so you want a little bit here. Okay, and this is just kind of following the shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's kind of like a little rectangle up there. That will be good enough. The, the fan, putting this, this little blue piping trim, trim. <laughs> on there is going to help pull it all together. So you do the, do the shadow, shadow first and then we'll worry about that later. Um, if, you're, if you can do a, a, a softer, lighter shadow and you want to put that kind of up on the upper part of the neck here, and go for it. If you can't, if you if you have a hard time varying it, it's okay if it's darker too. When in doubt, a little um, put your finger is rubbing on there a little bit. It's good. Okay, and probably like right in here too. Okay. And the other important place is where? Can you see it? The lemon. Yeah. Yeah, this is super important right here. Okay? So right about where the um, the lemon the line of the base meets the lemon, that's where you're gonna bump it around. Okay? And you can do this, you know. Do it good size. Don't be skimpy with it, because it's a really important little piece of this. Okay? Right here. The, the strawberries, if for some reason your strawberries seem to be more in, uh, to the left, then maybe they're having a shadow on the base as well. But I think this in this case probably not so much okay the other place is well there's two other places one of them is right here okay and you're gonna put that right there okay if you can get this a slightly different shade than this part that might be good too and the other place you've got is not the front part of the handle here not here but once it starts to turn and go down the back that's probably going to be in shadow. It's a shadow caused by the actual base. Okay? There we go. Okay, so I'll do that down here while you finish that part. Okay. Oops. Should I click uh, bring them on camera for Grammy? <laughs> I can wave to him. I'll wave to her. Yeah, wave to him. Wave. Wave. He's waving at me. Um, I'm waving. I'm waving to Melba and Ian Marie and Scott Murray. Oh! That's. They're the ones that own the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. 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 You know what? You know what I think I'm going to do? What? New drawing. You mean me? Yeah, drawing Like in. while I'm nude? Yeah. Draw pictures? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Put that on the dark maybe web. Maybe my days for that have gone by. I mean, I'll do it. People like it Actually, all. maybe, maybe, I mean, if somebody wants to pay me for it. <laughs> Charcoal people aren't afraid. I'm not very, uh, what do you call it, modest. Well, I mean... Not in others. I, yeah. I'd rather. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> be 
you disappointed? What are you going to do? How did you come up with that? Because you were like, guess what I'm going to do. All right, I'll tell you in a minute, because well, let's do something. Let's color in God. some background, okay? So this is the deal. When I made the back, when the background was as dark blue, or was it really, really dark blue, what happened is you couldn't see the piping on the base because they were so much the same color. And I get two, two exciting things, like, what is it that I'm going to do that's something like being nude and something super cute? The, the special like sweet let me surprise. The cute surprise. Okay, so I want, didn't want it to be so dark because then you can't see it. So I wanted to lighten this up so that we'd still be able to see the dark blue on there. Check. But at the same time, part of what makes the, the vase really glow is by going pretty dark. And there's another way to solve that problem. And that is that you vary places where it's dark and places where it's light, okay? So for example, is this dark, one darker? All right, yeah, so I've got two shades of blue. I've got a medium-ish blue and then a pretty dark one. So when I want to really pump up the contrast, I'm going to go a little, I'm gonna put it, it's like right here. Mm, well, I won't touch it because it's gonna make, well, it's okay. But so right in here, what I want to do is go over this gray line, because I don't need my, you know, things outlined in gray. But I'll go a little heavier here. Okay. Not too heavy, because I want to blend the other color in there, too, so that... Um, and then where it's a little bit darker... This may not quite work, because... <laughs> So I can have that a little bit different shade in there. It kind of work. It's something to be thinking about as you're learning to draw. I know some of you, like maybe Tammy, have been watching a lot of the classes. And I think what happens in the beginning, there's so many things and you're, you know, can only focus on so much. But over time, I'm repeating things. Um, so in here, I'll go with the lighter one. Um, and then they start to, you know, just like for me, when my teachers told me things that didn't make any sense to me, but they said it over and over and over again, and then, you know, 20 years later, I was like, oh, I know what they mean. So hopefully it won't take you 20 years, but you will start to, like, it, things will make sense, and you'll start to remember stuff, and, and that will make, you know, you'll just get better at it. Well, not every time love everything that you do, but that doesn't matter. Who cares? But every now and then you might really like something, and that will be really fun and exciting. And then in between you'll have things that, you know, you're, you know, you never know, too. So other people might like it, even if it's not your favorite. Right, Tim? You know, you know, you know when we did this last time? It was a long time ago. We were, it was when Helena was here. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. It was, and I have a picture of the two of you with your paintings. Maybe Helena. Well, it's probably what time is it in England? Oh, that's true. It's a little, we, little we, late for her. Late, yeah. it's too late for Helena to be watching. I think. Well, no harm, not necessarily, but so anyway. Um, I might decide to, um, do photographs and video of people having babies. Oh, God. Like <laughs> actual Halloween having babies? Yeah, I found out from Ruby that, um, you know, people pay good money for it. 
And I was like, <laughs> I've had babies. Yeah. I love to see babies born. Oh, no. Not me. Holy moly. Yeah, she said... I don't want to be looking at your work. Sorry. What'd you say? I don't think I want to be, like, browsing through your work. <laughs> I want to see a bunch of crowning heads. Situated uh, monster? Situated monster. Situated monster. <laughs> We had, I had the book of the, who gave me that? Did you give me that? The Bradley Method. Yeah. When I was having, I guess, Daphne. Yeah. And um, there's a picture in it. And they're very 70s and very black and white and very Graphic. Sharp. Yeah, they're very clear. Disturbing for a and, child. Um, Ruby and Veronica, I don't know. Was I showing it to you? Ooh, no, I looked through it. Oh. Uh, they were looking through it, and they were <laughs> quite startled to see the two-headed monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was pretty... baby and the mom. It was... It was... It was a lot. You were four, right? Mm -hmm. Or were you five? Yeah, you were four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was upsetting. It was, <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> it's black and white, though. Well, still... <laughs> I still can remember it anyway, clear as so that. Anyway, so somebody out there is thinking about it, I do some photography and some video. And Ru is Ru was Ruby, <laughs> did someone want her to do it? And yeah. she was like, nah. Yeah, she was like, no, I don't think so. And I was like, hello, me. Hello. But so I'm just, I, was, I was listening to a podcast on doulas today, and then I was like, you may think of you want to be of Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn Conrad. Remember, that's who we had our... Um, yeah, she was awesome. Did you have a doula? No, but she, no, was, she was one. She was one. She was She was just not dueling for you? No, no we were taking, um, what I just want to say, phys ed. What do you call it? Lamaze. Yeah, because, um, you know, Tim hadn't been there yet. So, um, I actually didn't finish my first Lamaze class because you guys came early. <laughs> well, that's what happens when I have twins. And I didn't cooking. know they were twins until three weeks before they were born. So it was right in the meat of the Lamas class, and I didn't find out all about, like, if you don't say you want the epidural in the beginning, you don't get one. So I was like, later on I was going, yeah, I don't know about this. I think maybe I need something. And they were like, you can't have anything. It's too late. I was like, okay. But it was fine. Mm. They came. They came out like they were supposed to. Okay. Um, not me. Here. It's not you, no, that's right. I had to suck Veronica out. She didn't want to come out. She was like, I'm staying in here. I love my mother's insides. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what she was saying. <laughs> I was like, please don't bring me into this world. <laughs> you can hear Ruby crying. I'm staying in Yeah, Ruby was crying. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, sounds pretty upsetting out there. <laughs> If she watches this, she's, she's gonna kill us if she was watching this video right now. <laughs> if you do something that's that funny, then you just need to roll with it for the rest of your life and be like, you know what, I'm just gonna let this be this. Because it was really funny and it's still funny. But it's funny that she doesn't like it, so that's part of the game, right? If she didn't, if she was like, let me tell you the story about the time I made the goat sound. Remember when you burped at, uh, when we were watching Frozen? <laughs> Right at the peak moment. <laughs> I, I wonder remember. why. I mean, too much popcorn. Too much. Popcorn. But I, I, <laughs> I just think it was gonna be like that. The burp that echoed through the theater. My mother is probably horrible. I know. So I was just thinking. My Grammy's loving this combo. <laughs> She's probably not even listening. She's concentrating. Exactly. Okay, where am I? Let's get this done. Okay? All right. Uh, yes. All right. Because I'm going right. haywire here and I need your assistance. All right. This is what we need to do. We need to do the table and then we'll shade the other, the fruits and we'll be good. Okay? So the thing is with the table is you need two shades of whatever color you're going to use for that. So I've got a dark brown and a reddish brown. Okay? I've got these two. Okay? The trouble with these is you get shit on your crayon. I know. I know. Stuff. You could stuff on your crayon. Stuff on your crayon. 
Stop, Tim. Stop. Stop. No. Okay, so you might want just a little bit of dark underneath your lemon. That makes it feel like it's sitting on the on the table. And then um, a little. You can make sure that when you go from the, the the lower corner of your your lemon, that it touches your shadow. They have to be connected. It's not just a random place that it goes to. Okay. Oh, Same thing here. You know, a little bit of dark under the strawberry. You know, that's probably going to connect over to here. Um, a little bit underneath here. And then what I would do is, out in this area, I would assume that I'm going to have shadow just because it's the, the picture would be causing that. Okay? Um, Jamie filmed uh, Calvin being born. <laughs> it's breathtaking. Yeah, he did a good job in that accent for you. <laughs> he was a he was a good baby. Baby. Came on all fuzzy though. He's very furry. Like, not just the fresh newborn baby hair, but like, he was just furry. He had a golden glow all over, white hair all over him. He's probably, I think he's still pretty hairy. So. The one great, we should t talk about him all the time because he's never, ever in a million years going to watch this. Maybe Greg's watching. Maybe. Painting. Greg is an art lover. Actually, you know who'd be more likely to? Painting. I should tell him. Who? Who would really, who I bet would. Well, maybe yeah. not. Maybe he doesn't, because he doesn't maybe like me anymore after I made him no. turn off his TV and go to bed, but Casey. <laughs> <laughs> when they were having an overnight. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Turn off the thing and go to bed. He's like, I'm not going to your house again. <laughs> oh my god, you probably will never get forgiven. But he's, he's, he, he, would do, he loves to do new things. He travel all over the world by the he is. Okay. Oh, close to my heart. <laughs> Um, if you uh, want to watch another video, draw another picture. I have um, 80 something pictures to, to choose from on YouTube. And so if you have friends that don't use Facebook, they can watch them on YouTube. And there's got to be something there you might like to learn how to draw. And um, who knows what you want. Probably right. not the same stuff. Um, if you want to leave a donation, there's a link right below the video if you want to. That would be super great. Okay, so the, the lemon is curving like this. So about halfway down, there's um, a little shadow that's here, okay? The lower half of it. But it's also curving the other way. So there's also that kind of... Um, crescent moon type thing that's happening out here, okay? So if I, and, and, and if, sometimes a shadow on, I used to do a shadow on the lemon and, and use um, a light green. It actually works pretty well. But um, the brown, because this is the brown table, this is reflecting, having reflected light that bounces off the lemon, hits the brown table, that bounces back on there. So you could use whatever color you're using on your table would make sense too. I'll put a little of that on there, and then, and then um, I'm going to use this brighter yellow, and I'm just really going to go ham and color all over it a lot, okay? And blend it all in and Oops. make it really bright, because part of the reason, it, you know, it's just there because we want to have a bright color on there, right? Another thing we can do. When you're doing a still life, you want to make things seem connected. So you can take the yellow and put a little yellow down on the table to warm that up and kind of make a connection maybe between the yellow and the, um, the table. Okay. 
okay? Another place where you could do it, maybe in your little shadow here. <coughs> So, and then on the, uh, oh, on the uh, strawberries, I could take a little of this cool dark brown and put that on the red, and that will give me a little bit of a maroon when they blend together. I'll have a little shadow on kind of the right bit over there, and then kind of right in here, because they're kind of, this, this cha chair, uh, strawberries in front of that one, so it's going to cause a little shadow of the Okay, and then what I will do is I will put, I'll put a lot of red on here, right on that brown, make that into a maroon. I really expected to have full on thunderstorm all the way down here. Yeah, no, it's not going to rain. It's right. crazy, it changed so much. We're not getting that incredible storm. They're getting, there might have a it's hurricane a, in the it's northeast. It's a tropical storm. Yeah. Hey. It's, com it's coming this weekend. I think. Yeah, I guess we are going to get rain. The rain, rain, go away. Okay. And then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to use that to really keep this nice and bright up here. Okay. it doesn't make sense but you know what tomorrow when you're sitting having your coffee and you put it on the table really really look at the table and you will see the colors depending on you know what your table is whether you have a cloth on there whether you have um, a white table a brown table you're gonna see evidence of that coffee cup on your table or whatever your cereal bowl and you're going to, if you really look, you're going to start to see things from around the room all on that table, okay? And, and it's getting it just right is what makes people draw things that look like full of realism. But doing it even um, kind of half, halfway, um, it just makes your picture look better. And you, and, you know, you think it's like, oh, no, I look at that. I don't think that looks right. A lot of times no one will see it. It, it will just be go under the radar, okay? Put that on there. Um, you know what I like too are the spots. I got a little pencil here. But you know how strawberries have those little spots on there? I think that's a good thing to have. Look at that. I don't like the stem part that I did. The bush. Is that what you called it? I called it the strawberry. <laughs> It just needs to be darker. Okay, and so then we need a nice, nice dark blue. Uh, this is not the one I want. Do you have it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I've got a re the darkest blue that I have, and I'm going to bring that right along this edge. Right? Down here. And I think I'm going to make it a little on the quick side. And up on this part. Okay. Um, you know, I might, I might take this blue, blend it into the back of this a little bit. Maybe blend this down under. Oh, I 
get the big surprise. When you forget, the, the cute, the special cute surprise. The special cute surprise. Do you want me to bring it over to present it? Just a second. I want to be done because when I do it, when I do it, I'm gonna show up with special cute surprise. Um. <laughs> Here. I probably want a little bit right here too. Okay. This one looks like it's outlined, but it doesn't really make sense to have it outlined. Mm, I don't know. Does that look better? What I want is I don't want it outlined in gray. I want to cover that gray up. So right here. Um, I will do another couple of classes next week. My plan is for Tuesday in the morning at 10. Usually that's a little something maybe a little more appealing to the kids and then something maybe a little more appealing to the adults for um, Friday nights and I'll be here next Friday, right? I think so. Okay, um, Well, no, we painted it the last time, right? We did. Yeah. They always it was called painting class. Okay, I didn't I didn't really finish those guys, but you know, whatever. Okay? Okay. Time for the big reveal for the super cuteness. And um come on Tim. Come on up. No, it's Nathan. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's so cute. Come closer. There he is. Teen Tebow's watching. Oh my gosh. And Betty. Oh, hi. Remember when we had that club, Tina? It was called something, some kind of, something to do with some kind of cat. Oh, the Kitty cat club? Kitty cat club. No, like, it had to do with leopards or panthers. I think we were, it was a panther club. <laughs> I want to see your pictures. Okay, there's Veronica's. Oh, very. Mm. I like the shape of your vase. I like this too a lot. That looks awesome. Okay. Number one. Oh, Tim, you got a nice shaped vase too. Yay, everybody. I'd love to see your picture. Show me your picture. Super fun. Thanks for watching. And, um, you know, be, be good to all people. Love all people. Except, like, murderer people and. Pedophiles, you don't have to like them. <laughs> All right, good night. Now, you definitely don't have to like them. I mean, if you're very forgiving, you can, but you shouldn't. Okay, bye. Thank you. Have a good night.